Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on Vanilla with Sprinkles and today we are going to be checking out the Trike TLC. We've already checked out everything like the Spino, the RG, the Sarko and the Raptor. Now we're checking out the Trike today. So here is a clip of the Trike before the TLC so you guys can just see the full difference between what it used to be and what it is now. So guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video and let's roll the clip. So this was the Trike. Again, another original creature in Ark. I think, yeah, everything in this TLC, they were all original creatures in Ark, and it's just crazy to see all of the new additions that are coming to these creatures that we've just, we've, we've known for so long, and now they're gonna be so different, and it's just gonna change the gameplay in many ways, especially with the trike. This is an early game tame. Everybody's tamed one. And uh, they're gonna be a little bit stronger now. They're gonna definitely be a little bit more challenging to get your hands on early game, but they're still gonna be possible to tame. So, in terms of what this thing could do, left click, that's it. Doesn't do anything else. It's running animations. A lot of people I know complain about the trikes running animations. I agree, they're kind of derpy. I'm really excited to see what they do with the animations for the trike. In terms of visuals, I've, I've always quite liked the trike. I think it's, it's really well done, but I do agree with a lot of the changes that are coming to the, uh, the TLC trike. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much like a quick overview of the trike. There's not a whole lot that, that this thing can actually do. Um, obviously, it's like knockback and it's gathering skills are really good. Um, and its stats are pretty, I mean, like, they're pretty good, especially early game. You can get, like, a decent amount of weight on these things at a low level. Um, but yeah, that is the trike, guys. We're gonna be testing out the stats, just seeing if they're similar to the newer one. I imagine it's probably gonna get some buffs in areas. Um, uh, but yes, that is the trike. Super amazing. Okay, so that's what it used to be, and this is the trike now. My god, there is a massive difference in the trike. It is... Honestly, really, really well done. It, it, first of all, like it's it's way slimmer now, which is it's it's pretty cool, and like it runs less derpy as well. As you can see, like this is me sprinting, so it doesn't like kind of hop up and down like it used to, which was kind of a little bit weird when you kind of look at it from a distance. But now this is the trike sprinting. This is the trike walking. Love the walking animation, very well done. The sprinting is just a little bit faster than the walking. And uh, then, of course, it's actual attack. So the left click does this. Pretty much like the same thing, and you can do that while walking, but it's gonna stop you, or running even, but that's gonna stop you. You can't actually do that and walk at the same time, or move at the same time. But then, you have this new attack, which is the right click. And that's gonna scuff up some dirt, and we're also gonna see on the side there, up near my uh, stats, there is a little bit of a charge meter going up. You can actually keep this going, even though the charge meter is full. And then once you release, the trike is going to charge forward, and you can kind of, like, turn it as well while it's in this mode. Of course, if you go into water, that's going to stop it. I don't know why I did that. But, um, let me just show you that again. So we're going to charge it up. Three, four, five. Probably takes around five or six seconds to get a full charge. And then we release, and we can, like... My god, it looks really weird for the back for a second there, didn't it? It looks really odd. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, as you can see, he's like running pretty fast there when he is in his charge mode, and that is going to do a knockback to anything that you hit, and it's also going to stun them as well. So you can stun enemy creatures, you can stun wild creatures, it's great, and then also players as well. So this is the trike while it's running. Pretty cool. I gotta say, like, I'm glad that they took away the bounciness from the trike. It used to have that weird bounciness where it was kind of like... I don't know, it did really seem like it was an actual trike the way it used to be. <laughs> Let me actually show you this attack on this trilobite here. Release, so you don't do anything. You kind of just like, run into things. You can run through the trees as well. And if there's like a thatch uh, building, I believe that you can full on run through those. Um, but also if there's like wood, I don't know if it damages stone. I really doubt it damages stone. So it's gonna damage your thatch and your wood structures but you can run through the uh, the trees, which is great. And then, of course, we can run into creatures as well. We have some creatures across the river that we can fight. Let's actually try that out a little bit. But there's more, by the way. This isn't just it. Um, the trike is also going to get a bit of a buff when it's around large predators. Of course, it only works when they're enemy predators. So um, if we find, like, a T-Rex or, like, an aloe or something out there, even a spino, something like that, 
like a large carnivore or a, I think it's a theropod, which I I looked that up and I believe that's like pretty much most of the larger creatures that are like carnivores on the island here. So um, whenever it's around one of those, you're going to get a buff on your trike, which is going to be great. Let's do this. Also, I am regening stamina in this mode. Bam. How fast did the stamina go down? Can I keep this charge going? Even if I lose stamina, I wonder. That will be interesting. So yeah, you actually gather a decent amount of thatch and everything when you're in this mode. All right, we're fighting some stuff. That's how much damage we do with just a normal hit. Wait, fight all these other bugs here. Um, I want to try and charge into this Iguanodon. Raw. Okay, I didn't do that right. Do you have to hit or do you just run into them? I could have sworn you just run into them. Let's, uh, we got another, we got a Shally up here that we can try it on. We got lots of levels as well. Let's just level more stem. I mean, we're going to be breeding trikes in a couple minutes here, so I'm fine with just leveling a bunch of levels onto stamina on this one. All right, we got some Shallies up here. Let's charge at this one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm just going to not do anything. Yeah, look at that. I stunned him. I knocked him back. Really awesome. You can get a couple hits in at this point, and then I can charge up and do it again. I wanted to. So that did 31 that time. Uh, I didn't actually get a hit on that time properly. Because I got poop all over me. Darn freaking Shally throwing his poop at my face. Got another Shally over there. Got some Raptors up here too. A little Raptor squad going. Let's get a full charge and we're going to charge right into that Carno. Ah! 84. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we did also stun him as well. It doesn't fully stun them to the point where they can't do anything. They can still move and they can still attack. But as you saw there, that they are actually slowed when they are stunned like that. Let's run in and charge these raptors. And it works on multiple creatures as well. I just charged and stunned both of those guys. Just want to kill this dude here. Hello. Ah! Best just doing this attack, I guess, for now. Yeah. All right, he's dead. Okay. Let's charge at him a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta say, the trike is really well done now. Like, he's... It feels a lot better just riding on it, and it just feels a lot better to fight with it as well. And, of course, if we're around, like, a large creature, I can properly showcase the, um... the rivalry buff that you get. But also, with wild trikes... If there is like another trike near a trike that you're attacking, or not even, it doesn't have to even be near it, um, it's gonna run from a further distance than it used to. Like um, if you attack, if you attack a trike in the wild, other trikes from far away will run in and try to help the trike that you're fighting to um, essentially like save it. And also, they still do gather the berries, of course, which is great. They're still really good at that. Great AOE on these guys. Great knockback still as well. One thing I would have liked to see is some sort of like little bit of a roar or something. I don't know. I kind of feel like a lot of the herbivores in the game don't get like some sort of call or a roar or something like that. I, they could definitely get something like that. Um, like most of the carnivores let out roars and grunts and stuff. So I kind of feel like some of the herbivores should be getting stuff like that too. So you can see his head is just a massive battering ram and it would just ram right into anything that's in front of it. And of course, he is just fantastic looking. Now, I think we're going to do some breeding because I've got another trike on the inside of my little uh, kibble farm over here. By the way, for anybody who's wondering, um, I, I did go ahead and do all this like at some point. This was like a little while ago. I, I went ahead and just kind of like upgraded the kibble farm a little bit with a better gate and like proper walls and everything just to kind of keep my things safe, but also to make it look less messy because we just had a bunch of... Um, we just had like a bunch of gates all over the place and it just looked really bad. So uh, I went ahead and sharpened it all up really well. So let me go ahead and just do that. I'm going to put you on wandering as well. And I have another trike that we can go pick up. He's on the inside in here. Uh, there he is. thought he was further back there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do our little charge. And fully charged. Nice. Okay, so we're going to breed these guys up. They are male and female, of course. Oh my god. Can I stop? <laughs> this is going mad. 
Uh, I can't wait to actually have like an imprinted version of this because I guarantee it's gonna be really really good against like large creatures So um, yeah, they should be breeding now any second, right? There we go sweet So they're gonna breed it up and uh, we're gonna hatch it up in a few minutes and I'll see you then Okay, so here we go Baby trike. Let me see you. Oh my god Been a long time since I've actually bred trikes. Oh his little hordes are tiny. Oh I feel like they did that on purpose. That looks really cool. Looking really sharp there, little buddy. Oh man, look at you. Look at you with your tiny little tail as well. It's not even a tail. All right, let's grab the kangaroo. I wanna chuck the trike into him for a moment. Just to bring him out here quickly. Hello. Oh, we gotta grab him. Do we have him? I think we do. Sweet. Let's uh, chuck him out here so we can actually see him in the light. Actually, first of all, I wanna see him inside the pouch. I don't know why, I'm just so obsessed with when creatures go in here. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Oh, okay. Gonna just go ahead and poop there. That's fine. Let's uh, let's drop him out. Did I get him out? Oh, we're kind of stuck now. Can I do this? There we go. Alright, sweet. Let me check out this little baby trike. Oh, they don't, they're not like derpy when they run as babies as well. Is he like following the kangaroo? That was strange. Um, let me give you some more food. Oh, wow. Like a minute ago, you could only take five, but now you can take like a hundred. Wow. Dude. Just OP. 2%. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, that looks so derpy. Like, the tiny little face with the tiny horns. Oh, man. It looks so cool, but, um, those horns are really tiny. <laughs> uh, Alright, so guys, we, uh, we have around 20 minutes here on the imprint. I will see you then, and we're gonna check out the emote that he does for the imprint. Okay, so the baby... Oh, there we go. What the hell? It wanted to walk, but it, <laughs> apparently it didn't. Okay. GG! Okay, so he's got his imprint anyway, you kind of saw that. I think that emote is pretty similar to what we saw before. I I'm pretty sure that was like their emote all along. But uh, it's pretty cool to see. And by the way, this baby trike is really, really awesome looking. He's like completely like either a really dark... I think he might actually be a dark brown. He almost looks black from this side. But when you come over here, you can actually see that it's a brown. Very nice colors. And then the... Um, oh, what people were... Oh, what were people saying? People were saying that his headpiece is called the frill. Um, and then I had some people that were arguing that point. So I, I think I'm just going to call it a frill. His, like, whole headpiece here. Um, like, especially the top piece. So that's really cool looking on this one here, too. Because he's kind of got, like, this bronzy color going on. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think at some point we definitely need to get some mutations going on these trikes. But um, for now... We're just going to be testing out this one here today. So guys, we have a little bit before this thing is fully grown. i got to imprint it again before that happens, and I'll see you then. Okay, so our trike is fully grown now, and we're going to be taking it out for a test spin. So what do we have around here to fight? Hmm. What is this? we got a moss chops. Alright, let's uh, get a full charge up on this thing, and then we're just going to charge straight at this moss chops. Ah! Still 84. Interesting. Should have got like... Okay, apparently... Hmm. It was 84 before we uh, got any imprints, so maybe it's just like a flat-out value. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> I like shot that dude up in the air! That's amazing! I love that. Okay. Okay, we gotta actually hold that down. <laughs> let's get another charge going. Maybe... Yeah, let's just like run into the forest and just see what happens. Yeah, we're just gathering up a bunch of these materials by just running through. This is great. Look at this. Look at all this thatch. It's amazing. Okay. We gotta we gotta charge at this uh, tape jar up here. Ah! Okay, now we're doing 120. I'm confused what the rules are. Yeah, you could easily stun a tape jar and then bola it. And you can use weapons at the back of a trike. So like, once you're once you're starting this thing. Could you pull out? Oh my god, wow, yeah. If you're, like, charging your enemy with your trike, you just pull out, like, your long neck or something, pop a shot into them before you actually hit them. Is this thing gonna do his roar? No? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, got... what's this here? We got a raptor. Get away from me, buddy. You can't pounce me. I can't even see you. Alright, let's just go first person, because it's a little bit easier to spot creatures. Are we gonna... There we go. Okay, we're almost done. 
There we go. Sweet. Hopefully I can find something that's gonna trigger my buff. Look, here's another trike. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Sweet. Hey, look, a Therizino. I'm pretty sure this is a theropod. How am I gonna get my buff? Okay, I can confirm a Therizino is not a theropod. <laughs> I don't know what theropod even means. I assume it's some sort of word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know dinosaur lingo. What the hell just happened there? Oh my, we like pooped halfway through, but we're, we're still going. Look at this. Oh wow, we just hit into all of the Megadura ever. Okay, are they gone? I think they're all gone. Sweet. Let's get another one of these things going. Can I like poop before we go? No, I don't need to poop. All right, I really want to find some some stuff that's gonna like trigger my bonus, but like T-Rexes and stuff like they're sometimes around here, but not always. Let's just, I think if we go to the river, I can't ever see anything in this goddamn forest. Why am I like skipping forward as well? Let me just update my stats. There we go. Okay, what's that up there? It's a parser. Ah! Charge at him! Chase him down! Yeah, you go much faster if you hold down the charge. Get a full charge going. Okay, let's see. What do we have up here? Is there like literally no T Rexes around here? God damn it. Oh, hey, we look, we got a snake. One shot. All right, let's uh, let's do one of these then. Yes, all of you Meganera, I see you. Leave me alone. Did not mean to hit that pig, kind of, sort of. All right. Yeah, so the trike definitely, it's it feels a lot slower just in general, but of course with that charge attack, it's gonna increase your speed sometimes, but just in general, like traveling on a trike is gonna be a little bit slower now. I mean, like, you could level movement speed on it, but I wouldn't really bother. Doesn't seem like it'd be worth it. I should probably have leveled stamina there. Stamina on these on these current trikes that we have going is terrible. Let's aim for this guy. Ah! Yeah, so if you do that charge and then you just start hitting them with your, like, left-click attack, you could seriously just pretty much kill most, like, medium-tier kind of creatures. Like Carnos and stuff, you could probably like kill them quickly like that before they can start hitting you. Let's get a full charge. So like obviously when I am doing the charge, I'm extremely fast, but you can't keep this going forever, you know. There is a limited amount of time that you can keep that going. So just in general, moving on a trike is way way slower in this update, and from now on. All right, are there any T Rexes down at the river? Because I need to play. Mr. Trikey wants to play. What do we got down here? We got raptors. Oh my god, we're like so far away from the river. Okay, maybe I'll just bring you guys back once I find something that's gonna trigger the uh, rivalry buff thingy. Okay, so we have the rivalry buff right now, but I'm just trying to get out of range so I can actually see. Alright, how much damage can we do per hit? Okay, so uh, 283 is what we hit without the rivalry buff. Now there's two T-Rexes down here. Uh, now, now one of them's going into the forest. Where the hell's the other one? Um, I don't see him. Uh, where did he go? Maybe he went that way? I'm not exactly sure. Oh no, it's both of the T-Rexes are over here actually, not just one. Okay, cool. Let's get over here. We should get this rivalry buff any second now. Are we gonna get it? There we go. So you can see there's something up there. We also have like this glow around my head. I'm doing okay. These things are mate boosted, but let me see. If I can kill one of them, I can see what damage I can do. Let me see. Come on. I can kill one of you at least. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can keep T-Rexes at bay with this thing. Like even just with the knockback, it's pretty good. Okay, so we do 326. What was it? Uh, two, 268 was it before? 
326, that's actually a pretty large buff. Nice, we're gonna keep pumping in some more of this here. Uh, we might as well pump another point into melee. Nice, so, I mean, that's even still persisting. Okay, now it's gone, but it's still persisted for like a couple seconds after I actually killed this guy. So just being around those large predators with a trike means that the trike is gonna be all buffed up. He's gonna be ready to fight these creatures. Um, and he's gonna be able to fight them as well because you guys saw the knockback. I mean, like, we, even with a kind of a wimpy trike, you could probably take down a high level T Rex just having that knockback and having that attack speed. You're doing pretty good. I mean, like, their attack speed is actually quite fast. It really is. You don't even have to do too much damage, it's just the knockback is amazing. Okay, we gotta. Eh, we got bugs everywhere. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah, I mean, like, that is the new trike, guys. What do you think about this thing? That rivalry buff could definitely become extremely useful for when you are fighting off like enemy T-Rexes. Just send like send a pack of trikes at them. Trikes are not hard to tame in this game. Even with this TLC, they're not even that hard to tame because now they're slower. So you can outrun a trike. Of course, they can't charge you, but if you can manage to get away from that charge or like get higher or something like that, they can't hit you. So um I mean, like, trikes could become some sort of new meta. I would be very interested in seeing that because I really like the trike. I honestly do. But, uh, guys, that is it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe as well, of course. And uh, we will be doing the Parasaur probably tomorrow is when that video will uh, release because I got, like, other stuff coming out. Like, tons of stuff is happening this week. It's crazy. So, so busy with everything, but I will get that Parasaur video out here pretty soon. And of course, we have done all the other creatures, so if you guys want to check out any of those videos, they are all on the channel already. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.